Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode 87, recorded on January 20th, 2022. Which, it's weird, because the last time we talked on air was in 2020. Wait, it's still... Not, it's not 2020 still? What? No. Are you sure? We just, we no, just inverted the enough. date with the year. So it was 2220-2022, something like that. 2022. 1-2022. Yeah, all those weird things. I think someone looked back <laughs> and saw that the last one was on July 24th. Is that true? That's what one of our notes say. <laughs> well, we can definitely trust those. I'm pretty sure. And uh, tonight, uh, you don't know what you're going to get. It's going to be a show. It may be a short show. It may be a long show. It may be a crap show, but it will be a show. <laughs> and we'll at some point talk about ingress and what we've been doing and um, why there's white borders around people. In the streamer. That's weird. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, I'm here joined with my lovely co host. Uh, we have Agent Vane from The Enlightened and Agent Dewey J from The Resistance. One resistor amongst. <laughs> hey, I was former resistance. Excuse me. Okay. So it's like, so, so you're, you're our bridge. <laughs> You should be in the middle, man. Put him in the middle square. Get the Brady Bunch squares up again, you know. That's right. Here we go. It only took him an hour to do it the first time. Right. I'm not. And we appreciate the hell out of it. I'm doing some minor adjustments. Well, yeah. So uh, I'll talk while he's doing that, so he can think, because he can't think and talk all the time. Thank you. Uh, We're using some new software, so uh, it's we're killing gremlins as we go. And, uh, and we haven't done this for, we were thinking right about two years, year and a half, two years. Thank you, Mr. COVID. So it's going to take us a while to dial it back into what we, the, the fine edge point that we had on it the last time we did this. <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> so if you've seen one of our shows, you know about going to lie that is. I was going to say, but, we, we uh, got started, you know, pretty close to on time today. I think that that's might true. actually be a record. It, uh, yeah, we're, it we're usually like half an hour off, so it, it helps that we started like an hour early, but maybe that's the new thing. We're going to be on time. But we appreciate everybody showing back up. Uh, we know it was kind of a quick, hey, we're going to do it, but uh, that's just the way we do things. It's always been. Hey, yeah, let's I mean, do we've a show. got a okay. double digit view count, even if three of those are us <laughs> watching the stream at the same time. <laughs> I, I think uh, we've got the crowd that's used to that, though, right? Someone's like, hey, throw in a field, need help. They're out the door, right? So it's easy f- to right. jump on Twitch on the phone or, you know, on the PC when they get the notice because everybody's that's good right. at that that's in right. this that's community. Right. And what else do we, what are, what are we talking about tonight? Y'all tell me that while I am uh, fixing this. Well, the plans are, we're going to talk about what we've done in the past year or two. Uh, we'll try to keep it short and try to keep it related mostly to Ingress. Uh, talk about probably the things in Ingress that are relevant, current, um, which, which there has been quite a bit of stuff going on, even though COVID's out there. I will give them an attaboy for that. They kept things going. Um, so, and then uh, probably a little bit of history, talking about all the crap that's changed since the last time we did the show, if we get to that point. 
And uh, <laughs> if we get to the show, <laughs> yeah, point in the show, that's a show in itself right there. <laughs> we'll get so, there. I that's promise. the plan. That's the plan. Oh no! So who wants to start? You want? Are we? Are you going to continue to play? Are we going to continue to talk? Or what do you want to do? Uh, you're all good. Show. I, uh, you know, it's the intro area where we're talking about, uh, what's going on. I, uh, I want to hear, so I'll actually, I'll start. I lied. I do want to hear what, uh, <laughs> what y'all been up to, but, uh, mine's going to probably be a little bit shorter. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Um, is this the part where we call situation report? Is that the next segment? No, that's the next segment. Okay. I can't remember anymore. Which which segment I is? <laughs> I think we're still in intro. You know. Yeah. What have you What have you been doing since last time? Which is quite a you know quite a little bit. Uh, little so bit I've been um, yeah. I've been playing a little bit lately. So I I don't know. Uh, people may not know, but I was um, working for a company that um, um, let's just say I was working a lot of hours and. Uh, my ingress time went down and then COVID, uh, when I came and worked home, somehow I was working even more hours, oddly enough. Um, but, uh, I just didn't, I wasn't getting out playing ingress. I wasn't getting out at all. And, um, anyway, I was kind of sick of that lifestyle. So I changed jobs, pretty much do the same thing just for a company that, uh, uh, values, um, work life balance which is cool. So I actually get to go home <laughs> at all. Um, and, and, but I also go into the office every, every uh, couple times a week, sometimes more, depending on what's going on, how the COVIDs are going around the area. Um, like this week, I've been working from home. Um, but the days I go in, I play ingress. <laughs> I'm way in, I'm way home. <laughs> and I actually go out. I don't eat lunch, but I go play at lunchtime. And I that. uh, that's about that so it. So much. It. Yeah. But I still have not gotten my seven days. I had a oh, six day streak. Not a single uh, streak. I almost went out for the seventh day, but then it snowed here. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it God. never snows here. The world stopped. It snowed here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right? So, how many streaks? That's it. That's it. That's all I got. Real quick, let's throw it over to. Fane, because you're at the top of the list. Agent Fane. All right. So, yeah, since you mentioned streaks, for anybody that's, you know, keeping notes at, at home here, we are now officially on to what will become streak 40 for Epoch. <laughs> so I don't know, uh, Dewey J, if you're also, you know, in the, in the standing for Onyx Day, if you're going to hit 60 at the same time as you first come, first serve folks can. But... I'm at 39, and uh, this coming Sunday will be 40. So <laughs> I've been doing daily hacking, which has just not been a thing for a while. You know, after Sojourner kind of lost its luster, I got recursed Sojourner and lost my streak one day sleeping in. I just never really kept a hack streak, and now I'm up to 302 days again, just, just trying to keep Epoch running. I would say I've played significantly more Ingress over, you know, the course of the pandemic than potentially prior years. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to remember when exactly it was, but within 2021, I did recurse for a third time, and I am just a little over nine mil away from being level 16 again, and I'm debating on whether or not I am going to hit the button right away at 170 million to keep things somewhat clean or maybe go for 200 million and just kind of, you know, kick it at 16 for a little bit since I do miss that. Uh, I've got a lot of medals and new phone, new computer, same old webcam though. So for your old timers, you know, we still got that crusty webcam here. It's okay. We'll make do. And it yeah, looks good. It looks good at the size. I think it was just when it was blown up, it, like just make a it full really, monitor really small. screen. I'm not messing with it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have to. Cool. An agent Me? Dewey J. Then 
All right. How's the um, resistance been I holding did, up? The resistance has been holding up rather well in our cell. I am at streak 38. I made the first week streak and then I missed number two and I haven't missed since then. So, and I, I, uh, the sojourner, I was working on that and I went from, I think I was at two, like 12. I got to 232 and then missed a day on that. So I was like, ah, so now I'm back to like 50, something oh, like no. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to start all over again. Um, a lot of virtual first Saturdays. So uh, that first Saturday badge did get pushed up a few second Sundays uh, in a part of the United States where I still have to do a little driving, even though it's any six and I'm not one to like, okay, I'm going to redo six. I mean, I could, but that's, I'm just, that's not me, I guess. Um, so I got a couple of those. So I put about nine non candy badges on my uh, scanner since the last time we talked and got one recurse, hit the recurse button one time. And I think I was back to level seven in 30 minutes, something like that. Cause we have, I happened to hit it on a, a double AP and did the battle beacon double AP thing. And so I got back up to seven pretty quick. I didn't have to suffer through those lower levels. Uh, but the big thing was we hit our 200 cycles in a row win in our cell. So we haven't lost a, and, and I'm waiting for a frog to come along and solve this. Uh, we haven't lost uh, a cycle from four years. And so we decided we wanted to do something to celebrate that. And so we put 200 layers up. And we actually got 222 layers up at one time. And then it sat there for a week. So <laughs> so we need some frogs. I think our frogs are broken. Nice. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, yeah. You hear that? Frogs, get up there. And light yeah, needs to go. Where, what's the area the they need to be going for? The last bath we had over our cell, Goonie did it. That's how long ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I operated for that one. You did you? Yep. <laughs> okay, so, so you, you conspired. That's all right. I'll take that. But, uh, yeah, uh, same job, being nice that it's, it's retired. I can go in and leave what I want. I did join, uh, became a member of Barbershop Harmony Society, so I'm now a barbershop singer. So, old guys, we get to do that kind of stuff. But uh, I've been, been trying to play Ingress as regular as possible, and uh, – I drive about 40 miles to go to the barbershop thing. So that gives me a chance to throw some anchors far away and then come back down and make them triangles. Well, that so that's, sounds, that's about all I've been doing. Well, that sounds, sounds like, uh, you've been doing some stuff. Y'all both have, and I'm the, uh, frog on the stump doing nothing or something. <laughs> We've got to thaw you back out. You're, you're like one of those cave frogs that you just live forever frozen. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I need to uh, throw some planned fields, not just ones spray and pray fields. If it, sho- if it shows, it throws. That's what's been happening. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, one thing uh, that was kind of interesting that did happen during this whole time was uh, there was one anchor that used to be really difficult to get to near our area that I'd been like building out. A system to like shoot Wi-Fi down into areas and things and and uh, well they upgraded this area and it's now like they have a full blown like uh, ranger station there with Wi-Fi <laughs> open Wi-Fi <laughs> so you can just walk up and uh, connect and uh, grab a few portals um, you should it's actually so, kind of cool uh, camping spot I think it'd be cool if if we had like a camp out there sometime. It's like a dead so zone, a hard, but dead there's zone. some portals. It went down from there. a hardened portal to an easy portal. Yes, super easy with yeah. camping spots right next to it. With, with camping, yeah. Add a bonus. Have you guys noticed that it? Uh, there are portals that seem to be easy to get to, and you had good signal, and now it, signal just sucks. Or is that just our port part of the United States I, that they are ripping out all the four G? I think it's the five G rollout. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're probably near an air, yeah. uh, airport. I Two miles the is that the? <laughs> I've had a couple of uh, Appalachian Trail portals that have become easier to get as you know, new towers go in or, or equipment is replaced. Hmm. So it must be taking the the towers from here and moving them out there. Yeah. 
Some enlightened. That's all right. Getting rid of those resistance towers. <laughs> yeah, that's some enlightened guys. They're stealing our towers. That's how we operate. We we get down to hardware, baby. It's the five G five G conspiracy. Big. <laughs> it's all on us. Crash anyway, planes. I guess that moves us on to a little thing. Uh, we call that, and everything is moved for some reason, so we're going to just go back to there. Ignore that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. I was setting up some different things that, that we didn't have in the last streamer where you can actually set different transitions depending on which scene you're coming from. Uh, anyway, uh, so y'all are going to have to tell me a lot of stuff because there's things y'all have been saying that I'm like, I've heard the terms. I've heard the words. <laughs> what is this battle beacon thing? Is... That's, you're battling for oh, bagels now and stuff. I don't know. It's like the game has changed. That, it has. And that's, that's probably a real, I would say probably the biggest change is when they added the battle beacons. Are people using them? Like, is it a thing now, or is oh, it like an event thing? Oh, yeah. AP I engines. mean, if you want, if you, yeah, if you want to do an AP engine, that's like supercharge that AP engine, really easy. Okay, well, so, let's let's yeah. start from the beginning for people who are watching that maybe have no clue what we're talking about. Uh, how about y'all explain it to them? Not to me. Battle beacons? Uh, yes. I was going to say, I'll let In you general. know. Uh, <laughs> battle beacons, are, there are now two different types. There are rare and very rare battle beacons. Um, the rare ones, it's kind of strange. It's different than what you would think. The rare ones, NIA, will probably be deploying those, although they can do either one, I guess. And that's and the tomorrow rare, they're doing that? Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday. 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 When they start that. I guess we should say that. And the, the very rare ones... I think you can get the very rare ones in the store. Can you get the rare ones in the store? Yes. Yeah. You can purchase both okay. the rare and the VR. Currently the VRs, you can only purchase one at a time. The rares are available in an eight pack. Although according to Thea on the forums, that may be subject to change. So if you're jonesing for okay. an eight pack of those rare battle beacons, might not be a bad idea to take advantage. Get them now. So basically what they are, it's, it's kind of like I call it a mini anomaly in a box. So if you're using the very rare ones. So if you go to a portal and you throw a very rare battle beacon on it, it will start a countdown. And that's a three minute, right? I think it is. That people try to take control of that particular portal. And then as it gets to the end of that, it lets you know that it's at the end. It determines who the winner is. And here's the thing that makes it good for AP generators. It flips the portal. Then it all starts over again. And it will do that five times. For the VRs. The rares won't for flip. For the VRs. The rares do not flip. And they only do it three times. And then it keeps track of who has the most wins. There's a score. I think it's... Oh, God. I don't remember the scores. That's not one each it's like two two three four five yeah i'd have to look it up but you get more for the later wins to and allow for the people end, to get there yeah uh well i think the what's the is it the rares have a delay yep the rares the when the when the rare battle beacons are deployed out there is a 10 minute cooldown timer that pretty much will display saying hey there's there's going to be a battle here You've got 10 minutes to, to come on out for the VRs. The, the battle just begins immediately. Right. And then at the end, when it determines who the winner is, it throws uh, up some fireworks if you're doing the VRs. And then it also puts a banner up showing who won. And there actually is a banner that if nobody won. Um, so okay. I could see if it was non-COVID time that it would be Really nice that a lot of people could come out and get them. There you go. Hard to see that on this. Oh, you've got a you've got a number kicking away there in the inventory. You've been subscribed and just sitting on them. I uh, yeah, I guess is that what happens? Is well, yeah, and they have the are... rules of engagement too, so it does give you the info yeah. if you get on there. So if you're unfamiliar of what it is, you can just read that. 
I know there's another but, podcast that has two episodes on on those. So, uh, that's <laughs> what podcast is that? <laughs> What's the name of that, that one? That'd be the one guy, the one guy who's trying to keep this crap alive. Uh, Prime Tips. Prime so, yeah, Tips. We did, we did a couple things. Prime Tips. Yeah, which you should go uh, listen to if you haven't, and get the full right. rundown on uh, battling over the beacons. And what were you saying, um, Vane? You're saying that if you're subscribed, you get one of those a week. Or a month. So if you are level 16 or recursed, you will get a VR battle beacon when you get your core subscription renewal. So your secured package that comes down in on any time that your subscription renews, you get a lot of goodies and you will get the VR battle beacon if you are level 16 or recursed. Okay. Which which Goonie, I think they stole that idea from you because the last time that we did this, you were talking about they need to monetize. They need to monetize. And so they monetized with the core inscription, the core subscription. So yeah, and I think it gives you that that goodie pack and it also uh bumps your inventory up another five hundred. Yeah, which somehow which really I'm s- still right at. Like it doesn't matter. You <laughs> yeah. can give me ten thousand inventory and I would be at 10,000 deleting uh, level fives and six and fours and three or uh, recycling bursters and then hacking stuff and then going through this process over and over again. I can't yeah. like there's no management. I am. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. It's just like buying a house. You know, no matter how big the house is, you fill it up and it's like, okay, you need a bigger house. Uh but it really sucks if you let it if you let that subscription drop and then just like oh crap I'm over by five hundred now <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> you can't let it go so, I refuse no you can't let it go I yeah I think it's something we've talked about you know over and over again on this show in the past so multiple it's just like just give us a way to help support the game like it doesn't necessarily need to be anything specific yes there's some things that would be um, better than other things um you know give us a new uh avatar to fly around in every month or well the other speaking one. of, right? speaking of that. <laughs> there was actually a new avatar released yeah uh, during during the hiatus here um the aerodyne hopefully i didn't butcher the name right i was like oh crap go go get the scanner open real quick but uh yeah it uh, i think it's close enough sounds right it looked very similar to you it's know, the blade runner car other, basically yeah it, it's really just it looks a lot like a blade runner car it's trying to keep it brand friendly i was like you know like <laughs> cyberpunk future oh we don't okay. have to do that we I just let do. it out <laughs> as long as we're not you Nobody know playing poor. tunes that are copyrighted we're good okay we're good with that uh, um so but that so, was paid that was up. like a, a direct buy with um chaotic matter Yep, and it's still it's still think, available yeah. in the store there. It's Let's still there. Can... Yeah. There you go. Somehow that image was clearer than your normal webcam. It's weird. <laughs> I guess you know, I just gotta get really <laughs> close to the webcam. Oh hey, there you go. There it is. <laughs> just talk like <laughs> that. Just sit like that the whole time. <laughs> oh no, it got worse as soon as <laughs> it's auto focus. <laughs> Movie chair. Uh, Fifteen year old webcam, you know, it's it still works. There's been other things. Uh, I would say probably the other thing that made a big difference for a number of players was Adventure Sync. And I kind of forgot about that till I went back and looking at it. So Adventure Sync is, came over basically from Pokemon, uh, kind of. Um, but it really makes a difference in how it determines the distance you travel. And uh, so if you have that All kinetic right. capsule, it dang near tr- doubles, almost triples, for at least for me, the uh, the amount of distance that you walk, even if you had your scanner on. So it's much but more it accurate. And and this is the one where even yes. if you have the app off, it still detects. And yes, yeah, you still get credit. Yes. That's cool. Yep. That's something we always ask for on here, too. So... I'm glad they're listening. They must have went back and listened to our old our old uh, episodes. <laughs> and then they what to do. And then they were like, "Man, they haven't been talking for a year. Let's actually do some of this stuff instead of listen <laughs> to them." 
overnight because I assume they were just sitting there rewinding it because they record it on a tape cassette for some reason and then they play it yeah. and then they rewind it again or maybe a VHS. Probably their lawyer. Probably Betamax. their lawyers were listening to it and they said, "Okay, this is okay. We don't have to sue them for anything. We don't have to pay them for uh, ideas anymore. We don't have to pay them for anything." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, what else we've got? Um, cur- curie, cur- or I, I went further curies. in. I think. Where did we actually talk about Kersey? Kersey? No, cur- we, we skipped it. Curies. 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 No, but it was going to be a nice segue That's- from the Battle Beacon discussion. Like, you know, hey, now that you kind of understand the basic concept for Battle yeah. Beacons, Sunday, 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 we we've got the the we curies effect. With Battle Beacons. Where we'll be playing with battle beacons. Surprise, and that's surprise. January twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth. It's three days. Yes, and there's some there's some components to that. So the event okay. does take place over the course of you know the twenty second, twenty third, and ends on the the twenty fourth for phase one. But two ways to participate essentially boils down to any time between the the start of the weekend and the end of the weekend event you can deploy battle beacons yourself as a regular agent on any portal of your choosing because you are an XM sensitive and in somewhere deep in your mind, you just realize that that portal is important and that one, that one you there. need to put a battle beacon on it. So when you do that, you, you will get a curious effect, a battle beacon combatant stat tick. And if you get 10 of those, you, you get a badge, uh, which is going to go in the anomaly section on your profile. Oh, cool. So, well, let me ask you this. So this kind of ties into just how battle beacons work in general as well. Um, so, like, I go down the road five minutes to a place that's it's really real short for me to get to, but it's going to take anyone else now 20 minutes to get to that plays Ingress, just knowing the terrain around here. It Like, they're probably not going to go out there, are they? So if I just went out there and just put 13 of those on 13 different portals. I got the badge and, and you could absolutely do that and you could score some points for the enlightened that way. But it but, is important but. to note that on Sunday, NIA section 14, which formerly NIA game master for anybody keeping score here, uh, will be deploying rare battle beacons in select cities uh, across the world those will be worth 10 times more points to the global score. Ooh. So they're probably not going to put them out in this, this little town out in the middle of nowhere, but they could, they have a whole list. They have I'll a whole list of cities. Uh, actually I went down through and I thought the ones that might be close to us, the closest one to me is Chicago. So I only got to go four hours to get to one. Uh, Goonie, probably Atlanta, Atlanta. is probably your uh-huh. closest Atlanta, Malanta, Atlanta. And then uh, Philly and Boston will have some. Yep. So I'll be going to Philly. You, you, get you'll, the, you'll be the going to out. Philly. <laughs> okay. And uh, if if we had uh, one of our, our other agent, if she was around, would is Minneapolis close to where she's at? Um, sh- I wonder. If sh- Chicago may be closer. Chicago may be closer. Yeah, I, but they I have a whole know. list of them. Do we, there is a, a link, uh, and uh, we could we can put that out there. The Phase One cities, and this is something they're doing in January. They will also do it in February and March. So I'm assuming this is Phase One. I'm assuming February will be Phase Two, and March will be Phase Three. Um, so Phase Two, they're going to be out here so, in Triana. I know it. I can feel it. Yeah, My sensitive <laughs> motions are going off. And so you don't have to get all ten in this weekend you could get four this weekend and then get to the next in in february and the rest in march and you'd be able to to score that badge is there is so, it a tiered badge or is it's one badge you do just it a, just you a get flat it. badge okay. no tears. flat badge it's kind of cool i'm okay with that and you you don't actually I have to it. battle at the battle beacon you just have to interact with it so now, correct me if I'm wrong. The way I read this is you can you can put on uh, resonators, you can take off resonators, you can mod, you can link, you can recharge. So since it's recharge, if I have a key to some portal 
a hundred miles away and somebody starts a battle beacon on there and I know that I could charge and I should get a tick. Correct. So Goondy, you have to figure out, you know, what portals do we all have keys to and throw your battle beacons on those and let us know. Okay. <laughs> Are they doing this in Buck's pocket? Because I we can no. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I I actually, I don't know. I may have a few keys left from the Chicago anomaly. So I don't know, maybe. Uh, And speaking of how will you know which ones are in the cities, since they're going to, you know, only have them for what's that window is going to be three hours. Yes. Uh, Yeah. I think it goes from 1430 local time to 1729 local time. That is correct. So I was thinking, how the heck are you going to figure that out? 24 hours before. So and on Saturday, they will, they will put some um, ornate ornaments on portals that will be the battle beacon portals. Okay. So you should be able to scan your map and figure out where they're at. But really, if you're in one of those cities, hit one and you're done. Right. Okay. Maybe so. they should do like a purplish link from all those portals. Like and and throw those up. They, they don't block anything. They don't do anything like that. But they're a beacon to the beacon, right? You see that line, and you're like, oh, I just got to follow the line. Follow I know where line. it's going to be. Well, it's funny you mentioned you know purple for for these because I believe the ornamentation is going to be purple. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> they're stealing your ideas. I, I'm not working with them, even though I did find out um, my old boss from one of my jobs actually works with. Uh, Niantic now, and um, I thought oh. that was interesting. I haven't been sending him messages, dude. They get, they got a website, right? You can help. And there is a faction score that goes along with it, and it's it's like higher math to figure out how it all works, but it's not real bad. So um, so uh, if you're on one of the rare battle beacons. And your faction wins the first round, you get two points. If you win the second, it's three. If you win the third, it's four. If it's one of the very rares, it goes one, two, two, three, four. Uh, then they take, you add all that up, you m- multiply it by what they're calling their battle category, which I think that's going to be determined by the number of agents and activity that's there. It's, I don't know, there's some secret sauce with that. And you multiply that. And then if it's one that the agents put out, that's your score. If it's one of the NIA ones, it goes by, it multiplies by 10. So it counts more for that uh, faction. And they have a, 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 a link for keeping track of uh, who's ahead and, and all that other stuff. So scores will be published. And we actually made, I actually made a short, Earl, because the URL for that's like huge. So if you just go to bit.ly slash AA Curies, that's K U R E Z E, that'll take you to it. The AA and the K are uppercase. Uh, that corrects me out because it's like, uh, I'm K U R E Z E. Anyway, so. <laughs> but, I, I think yeah, that would we, be we something great to there. put in the. Uh, the new overlay. Is oh, that, there you go. Does that work? If right. I do this, that might be weird. If if I disappear, that means I did this wrong. <laughs> right. Well, I just tried to put in a graphic. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's okay. upset. Uh, I'm going back and getting out of there, and I'll let you handle that because um, I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, but we all knew that. So, uh, also with Battle Beacons, is there something with the normal ones? And I'm sorry I keep going back to like other topics, but... No, that's... A, been th- it takes a while to grasp these suckers. Um, isn't there something about if no one shows up about it being something's different, something's weaker, like the points at the end or the effect of the output or... Battle yeah, categories. It will, if you've got... Yeah, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so at the, the end of the, you know... Once all the checkpoints are said and done for for both the rares and the VRs, there is a, a victory you know category that that will occur, which is determined based on interactions that happen during the entire battle. So, 
basically more AP churn that, that happens on that, more battling that happens, higher the battle category and victory category will be after the beacon is finished. So you'll get a little bit more increased hack output. And for the Curies effect, it'll actually be worth more points for your faction the higher that battle category is once everything wraps up. Okay, so the the battle category for Curies is the same as for the beacon in general. It's just... Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. It's just, for the event, you get a, a bonus points instead of just bonus hack output, but the hack output is still there. Okay. And that's good. Like, I'm glad they did that because it's like I said, if I went down to this, like I can go control the battle beacon. It sounds like anytime I want, but it, if it doesn't really do you that much good for doing it in general, then why do it? You know, it's better to make it where you want to go do it, where someone's going to show up and actually uh, fight you. Yeah. Well, and, and honestly, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, like some of us agents, there's still a lot to do with those battle beacons. Cause like Bane said, you can just rack up the AP if you know how to do a, a double battle beacon AP generator. And we're talking we're talking easy, three million MU in fifteen minutes. Easily. Easily. And easily. You know, over what? the summer I had a, a beautiful, beautiful AP engine set up. We we have a pool accessible portal. So a portal that you can be physically in the pool, still on the portal. And we created a 40 outbound link AP engine off of that. I got a couple of screenshots and, and photos where we're in the pool, just kicking back with some drinks and lounge chairs and just, just throwing out links. Link. Getting all that AP. That's nice. We, we need to put those uh, pics on the next show or on the website or something. I want, well, I want to see them at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, okay. That's good. I need to do one of those sometime. Is that yeah, all there's a, there's we've got art. for Curies? Or that's... Uh, ding, 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 ding. Deploy beacons. So we got the scoring. Phase one. So yeah, you'll have February and March. Times. Um, so agents can start putting them out at 1100 UTC on Saturday and go to Monday 12, 1059 UTC. So get out your UTC calculators. Um, that's when you can put out the battle beacons and it's going to count towards this. And then as he, as uh, Vane had said, NIA starts Sunday, 1430 local time to 1729 local time. And that's when those should pop up. Huh. So, okay. So local time, that's good. So I'm, I'm I think calculating they've been the drive now. Oh God, it's such a crap drive. It's like a four hour and drive. It'll probably snow. It's not bad. If it snows, it'll be easy for you because everybody will be off the road. Man, it's supposed to get down in the teens tomorrow. And I know that's nothing for y'all northerners, but for us southerners, that's really cold. <laughs> like that's... I want to point out that you came to a first Saturday in Effingham in January. So I know you can do it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do it, but it's still cold. Yeah, I really enjoyed that too. That was great. <laughs> today was today was cold. It was cold. But I'll be it turning the cold. water on, running it tonight, so the pipes don't freeze. Do y'all have to do that? Is that, is that just a southern thing? Uh, y'all have it, basements it really and cold, stuff yeah. that keeps yeah. that from happening? No? We just let it drip, yeah. Okay. So January 7th was a high point for Ingress. That was Sojourner Day 2500. So I don't have 2,500 on my Sojourner, but if you see an agent that is somewhere around 2,500 on a Sojourner, that means he's been running it since day one. Nice. And there, are, I've seen a couple agents that are at that point, like, unbelievably. Yeah, that's dedication right there. That is. All right. What else? What else did you miss? I um, missed all kinds of stuff. Drones. <laughs> okay, drones. so tell me. Okay, I've been doing drones, I, and drones are here before. Like they, they were, they were already here. But, but we've um, got the drone layer, you know. The yes, yes, I've seen. Okay, does that and matter Maverick. though? And, yes. Does, and, oh, and the yes. Badges. Okay. The drone layer is 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 very very critical. 
there's so much strategy in what you can do with drones. You know, drone farming is a meta within itself. Maybe one of the the best kept secrets right now is you know drone P8 farms. Um, you know, now now they'll be looking. They'll be like, where's 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 Vane's drone at? We're gonna we gotta go find it now. <laughs> he's he's hacking those eights. Uh, <laughs> but we have the Maverick badge uh, also to you know give you a little bit of reward for your consistent drone hacking. But with the drone net layer, let's say you're you know poking around some enemy portals and you happen to notice that there are some drones deployed. Well, you might be incentivized to go return those drones to their sender. Uh, especially if they're on some P8 somewhere. So visibility is key. Okay. So is there a badge so for returning them or just returning them because you don't want them hacking? Stuff? There's a stat. The stat. Yeah. Okay. Drone uh, hacks and drone recalls. That's the... Yeah, so, yeah, so instead return. of guardian hunting, now you drone hunt. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that seems legit. Like, that's cool. Yeah. And I t- I'll tell you, I did have a drone returned to me and I was just totally confused because it was like, I don't see how this drone got returned. Well, somebody used a battle beacon and the drone got returned. And I was I've like, got, oh. I'll do you one better. So I've been working on a, a drone highway uh, in an undisclosed location. Essentially, <laughs> for funsies, we were, we're taking point a or we're trying to connect it to point b with drone hops and mm-hmm. we managed to do this but in one of the instances right after they turned on the drone net layer and the drones are visible i'm making the the journey with my drone trying to get a longest flight going and i park it somewhere pretty far out of the way and i, I happen to notice there's an agent kind of going through this area and deploying on portals so i, I messaged him quick and i'm like oh, my drone's out there like please please don't capture that portal and they're like ah oh, i saw it you know i didn't didn't know whose drone it was, but I just left that portal alone because it was on a neutral. So if they had deployed a resonator, it would have sent it back. So they, they give me a heads up and they say, oh, well, I submitted this portal here for, for deletion. So you might want to get your, your drone <laughs> off of it. And here I'm thinking, I'm like, ah, you know, thanks for the heads up. Like, uh, I'll be on my way here in like another hour or two and it, it won't be a big deal. So I ended up going to bed that night, didn't move my drone, woke up the next morning and I'm like, why is my drone return? Returned. Fastest portal deletion in Ingress history. <laughs> I, that thing was like less than 16 hours that portal re- deletion request went in and then it was taken out with my drone with it. That's too funny. Yeah, I had I had a similar deal that I had I'm in the middle of nowhere, so I drove an hour and a half to drop my drone on a uh, uh, level 8 farm. And I no more than got home and somebody hit that sucker and it came back to me. I'm like, so I drove three hours for nothing. Uh, so, okay. So uh, this is what I don't understand with drones. So okay. y'all need to school me is like, I put my drone on a um, portal and we don't normally have level eights around here. So a level seven, it's usually, um, yeah. and I hack it. And then I come back the next day and it's like, this is burnt out and you can't hack. And then I come back the next day and it's like, you can't like, is it seems to be burnout you, forever. You gotta move, agent. You gotta move. So what? So you have to move to hack again, you have to move or and then hack? Right. Yep. You could. So if you every hit time, if you hit every portal time. A and you hack it, okay. you sit there and it's back to an hour now, and then you move it to another portal, which you can move it. You can move it before I think. Can you move it before the hour? No. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta wait for that. that you, full gotta, hour you gotta wait to your hour. Okay. And then, then when you move it, you can hack. So you could hack and stay at the same place, wait an hour, and then move and hack. Or you can hack and then wait and then move and hack. But yeah, you have to move. You can't hack. can't basically hack the same portal twice in a row with a drone. But you could go back and forth. So if you have two portals somewhere that you got up to level eight, you could just move back and forth indefinitely. Yeah. Okay. That makes a a a much more sense then. Yeah. We've got a little mini eight farm that has like four eights in it. And so we just, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Not racking up the distance, but, you know, getting gear here and there. So, and how far did y'all, like, move the drone from? Like, across the state, all the way, all the way across the, the U.S.? I wish I had. I moved it across the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. My, my drone flight is still 
very tiny compared to some other people that are more dedicated, but I'm proud of it because it's a drone highway in an area where you wouldn't normally expect one to be. And my, my furthest drone flight is 18 kilometers. Yeah. Is that a stat? And is they that have... in the... Yes. Yeah. That's under okay, your discovery good. category cool. of, of yep. stats is the furthest drone distance. And that's, and is that a some... one hop distance or is that a flight distance? That's a, that's flight a flight. Distance. So it can't okay, get multiple knocked hops. back. Yeah. As soon as it gets sent cool. home, your, your flight is over. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And, and speaking about the hops, I mean, it's, it's what you can see. So that's about the distance you can make. Although, and I, I can't remember exactly how this worked. There was a sort of a little bit of a hack that if you looked at a portal that was out there on the distance, it kind of made it appear closer so you could make that little extra jump yes, to that portal. And that, that still works. It, it actually works pretty well still. It's called like a theoretical uh, drone hop where I believe the limit, the upper limit is 1.25 kilometers. And the, mm -hmm. the trick, the easiest way that I've found to reproduce it is if you've got a gap where... You don't really have a, a visible portal, but you're within that 1.25 kilometers. You get a key for the portal that you need to hop to. And then before you go into the drone net menu, you go look at that key in your inventory and then go into drone net. And then if the portal doesn't appear, just rinse and repeat. Close out drone net, go look at the portal key, close out, go back into drone net. And you should then be able to hop to that portal. Yeah. We need a uh, post on the Agent Academy. What's that about that? Get on that. Yeah, we'll, that's we'll, that's for you, Vane. You, <laughs> we'll put some stuff in there. But that's and they are, there's some overlays for IITC that that helps you keep track of that kind of stuff as well. So IITC is still in development, still going along. Well, that's good. So that's a good thing. I need to go look at it sometime. That and um, uh, what I should have been doing uh, the whole time is. Uh, uh, reviewing portals. That's all moved into something else too. That's uh, I think that yeah, got some medals. You, you got a couple of medals there that probably have popped up since the last time we had a show. So you have the scout medal and uh, scout controller. I mean, I don't know if I have them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. I will say that we have a local stats that we kind of do in the cell and stuff like that. And I noticed that nobody was doing scans. I'm like, okay. So I just went out and did a ton load of scans. I was at the top of that particular category for quite a while until nice. somebody figured out. It's like, yeah, he just did 100 scans. And he's getting at the top of that list. I'm like, yep. Well, not anymore. They figured it out. Yeah, I'm working on, I'm very soon at Platinum Scout and will be Ooh. trying to chip away at Platinum Scout Controller. My approach, though, is a little unorthodox uh, compared to some other folks that go for just the volatiles, the scout volatiles that are worth three points. I like yeah. to kind of focus down individual areas. So I'll go for clusters of portals where I'm just going to scan everything in this park or this section of the city and just get it all out of the way. So slowly, and slowly, you don't mind people surely. seeing you. You don't mind people around you seeing you walk in circles either. So the only the only thing I, I avoid is is playgrounds unless it's raining or nobody's <laughs> around i don't really like scanning you know it's just it's just weird yeah it's a little bit of a creep yeah. factor yeah. there that i i just no thank you and and one of the things i would like you know, we always talk about things that we need to have in the game i'd like to see him take that scanning portal uh technology and help you put in invalid portals and things like that because right now if I, if I know that this portal i ran into this in north carolina there's a portal that's way off and i know it's way off because of the picture is you know it's literally a quarter mile down the road but i can't report it as an invalid portal because it's too far away um so i, I try to so if i could do a portal scan and say okay here's what's here and it's not here so this is an invalid portal. Uh, that might help out. But uh, the portal network's getting old. Uh, so the, you like in Effingham where we had all those sculptures, well, those portals are still there, but the sculptures are all different or gone. Chicago was that way. You know, they, they were correct when they were put in, but within a year or two time, there's nothing there. Yeah, I've, so, I've really noticed some areas are worse than, than others. It seems to, in some places, I think, 
the earlier the portals were, the, the worse off it, it was, either yeah. because phones at the time weren't too great at pulling that yeah. geotag down when you go to submit, or you know it was a manual submission towards the beginning of the game, or a seed portal. Uh, like I've, I've gone into entire farm clusters where I go to scan, and it's like, oh, well, hold on. i got to walk over to that portal, hit the button, then come back to where the object come actually back. is to, to, <laughs> to scan it. Yeah. Yeah, some of them were really far off. We had a, uh, uh, when um, Circle K's were still out, we had one that was in the southern part of the state that it was off so far that the only way you could get it was you literally had to be in the middle of the intersection and because there's a huge intersection. It's like, okay, I really want to use this as a deploy portal so nobody can get it unless they're driving through. Yeah, what a but, sad yeah. day when they ended that. Oh, my Circle K's back. I miss Circle K. I, I'm still glad that you know we, we've got SoftBank, Ultralink. So it'll be a sad day when when they decide to leave us, and we've still got Edo, and we just had yep. you know IFS uh, sponsor month was not too long ago. I think that was November, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to see that we're still around. I mean, they they had a couple of their other games, uh, Harry Potter, that just it tanked and they're like gone. Oh really? So this what? is Harry Potter's this is no more? kind of their baby. Wizards Unite is, I think, officially closed at the end of the month. What? Yep. <laughs> How is that a thing? I mean, I haven't played it since uh, COVID, but uh, like they now, even added they... in the stuff where you could take the bus to the portals, and I was going to do that. <laughs> well, maybe you can do it for their new one. I think is Transformers. Is that where they're going with the next one? Yeah, Transformers. Everybody's looking at me. Transformers Heavy Metal, but uh, I haven't really seen much in the way of news for that. I haven't seen much on it. Just seen a little bit of a. Maybe that's what they're going for next. Uh, hmm. Well, it's, uh, yeah. So, so is Harry <laughs> Potter? People just stopped playing it, or it was more due to the author? People stopped playing it, or just the game? It it just kind of there was some you know rumor rumor mill stuff about uh, Warner Brothers was just kind of like oh we're we're, we're done with this like it's. It's gone oh, it's like a license kind of thing. They shut it down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, to, to the credit of the Wizards Unite team, like I, I don't follow things very, very well, but I do follow general Niantic news. But they've been putting out updates and, and bug fixes right up mm -hmm. until the very end here, as well as some you know bonuses and changing things up to kind of make the game a little bit more fun for the folks that are sticking around until the lights go off. Yeah, and they were good at, at telling people, hey, you probably need to burn this up, burn this up, so that you don't end the game and this all just goes away. Use it up now. And so they, they oh. gave, gave a lot of things for people to use up the stuff that they purchased. Huh. So. Sad, <sighs> sad. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to Ingress, right? <laughs> I, I think it's, I really do think, I was thinking, you know, last year I was thinking, God, they got to be pulling the plug on this thing because, you know, COVID is keeping people from moving around. And they did a great job with, you know, virtual first Saturdays and those kind of things to keep things alive. But I'm thinking, why is this thing still alive? You know, but it, it really is their baby. I don't I don't think. I think this is going to be the thing they turn off when they turn off the lights for the company. Well, I, I wonder if years you... ingress. Right. Like if you boiled it down to what it would take to run ingress, like how many servers, what's the, like, I wonder if they could boil that down to something that's like, okay, worst case scenario is community. Y'all come together and y'all pay this amount and Vane's going to be the one who... <laughs> maintains it in that it. he'll turn the power on and off if something happens kick start it but this is what it costs if you don't want to keep it going forever yeah well hopefully and, a and little I bit think of that it, core money is you know benefiting yeah here. right i think core money is helping them and also that that they basically a good portion of their portal network and everything is doing double duty from pokemon so Scans. really as long as pokemon yeah as long as pokemon's pulling in money and it is big money. Uh, that's, you know, that's a good portion of development and maintenance that they don't have to do too much with to make it work with ingress. So yeah. I always complain about 
those Pokemon portals and moving it, moving it six inches so that it makes it a gym, but it pays the bills. Yeah, I yeah, I guess. Like, I wonder how much because, man, Nintendo, Pokemon, like there's such a pie there that is cut up. <laughs> the dice down to Niantic. Like, I wonder what it gets down to, and um, like I really wish Ingress would be like their money pit, right? Or not pit, but yeah. their money pot. It's their so flagship, that, but it's not their money maker. Yeah, but um. But, yeah, because anything you license, it has that danger of going away. Like Wizards shows it, and that's what. Well, yeah, got the solution. Scary. All all ten of you right now listening to this, including the three of us, go <laughs> go update your Play Store rating for Ingress because you know we, we can't get the game in front of new new players. Five. It's the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still a five. Haven't changed it. Five but yeah, I mean it's it's. It's funny that I people are like, oh, I've never heard of this game or I've never seen this game. I'm like, oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, well, it's like Pokemon Go. I said, no, no, no. Pokemon Go's like this. And they're like, no, are you kidding? I said, no, that, this this predated it. And it was all built on this. So, yeah. What else have we done? Apex? Have you heard of Apex? I do. And I have a ton sitting there because I just can't, like, <laughs> I can't burn one and then go hit two portals. Like, it's there's just your, like, well, there's your double AP. You throw the Apex APN. on before you do the battle beacon. So that's what you do is, is you oh, wait for a double AP, then you throw on the Apex, and then you use, if you're good, two battle beacons and you, and like 20 or 30 different portals. And you just grind the IP and, you, and, you know, 20 minute AP, I'm sorry. Um, and then 20 minutes later, you're 3 million up, but you got to do a lot of planning and, and having that kind of laid out. It's not a, can you do the plan for me? I'll give you million. the portals. I can, I've I got can, it all laid yeah. out. It's, it's, it's in a park here in, in Effingham, Illinois. So you'll have to drive a little bit. <laughs> Effing that. Yeah, we, <laughs> you know. yeah. I can get you an AP engine, Goonie. I'll, I, I, I enjoy making ridiculous <laughs> AP engines. I've yes. a couple of times done like couch AP engines, uh, a resistance agent near and dear to my heart who unfortunately moved out of state left us. Uh, we had an AP engine that was running off of their, their couch portal. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, encourage a That's little bit awesome. of turnover. <laughs> well, look, it, now, I've seen, I've seen the AP engines with two battle beacons running at the same time. I have yet to see three running at one time. I don't know if that would be too darn quick. I have seen folks do that. I, I prefer to either do the single, uh, single one or the double to save on the soft banks. Like I've, I've gotten into a yeah. good rhythm with the double uh, battle beacon AP engines to save on my soft banks. But now that kinetic capsule program is available for soft banks, I'm just churning them out. Well, and so maybe a goal it's 2022. We have multiple resolutions we should have done shows about and, and said, so let's have one. How about this? We get our drones from where we are now to the same oh, portal. We'll have to get help to light up portals <laughs> along the way, but we find a spot in between the three of us, and our goal is to get all three of our drones around there. Because we can't be on the same one at the same time, right? Or can't we? Well, we can, no. yeah. 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 Up to oh, eight drones can. can be on the same portal. Yeah, we can be on the same one. But, is it doable? Uh, is that possible? Uh, there are a few drone highways that go out in a certain areas, but I'm trying to think. Like we, we would probably hit some gaps, but they're yeah. not impossible. I, I would have a real, I would have a real problem with it because we've got pockets, and so we have places where there's sixty miles with nothing between yeah. portals. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'd different. have to, You'll drive have to go to make drop portals. <laughs> Find make portals. To make a, portals. A, lot of, a lot of nominations. We'll Put make the lines. Down there. We'll get the community to help. We'll make the portals, and then we'll do the journey. It's probably going to be better if I'm no. going near just to drop my drop my drone somewhere near and then start hopping towards you. So, well, and theoretically, I was kind of down, I was down your way about Christmas. That if you could only go a mile and 1.2 miles, is that it, in an hour? That's a really slow speed, by the way. <laughs> well, they had it. <laughs> what was faster, the, the cool down time was 20 Much minutes. Faster. 22 minutes for, for, for New Year's here. 
Yeah. Oh, they are? Or it was. Cool. Yeah. Uh, not not well, anymore, was. but it was 22 minutes. Uh, I think the fastest that they've done was like eight minute hops for level eight day. I think for that weekend. Yeah. Huh. Uh, they, they've, they've tweaked the time on that a few times for special events. And it seems to be something they keep in the rotation now where, you know, we get a mm-hmm. special weekend where APs doubled. You might see drone cooldown reduced. So we definitely have to hit a few of those because <laughs> otherwise it would take, you know. All and, year. And one other thing we we may want to get into, I I have I haven't even hit the red dot on this. Maybe you have, Vane, is Niatic Social. Oh, yes. So, yeah, social. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it a train wreck or what is I, I think I it's haven't pretty, even looked at it. I think it's pretty promising just based off of the fact that you don't have to install a third party app. Like it's just baked into the scanner. You can open up Niantic Social. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I'd say right now it's it's trying to be a little bit more like a, maybe like a Slack Discord hybrid in the way that the layout is missing a, a few key features to really make that usable and, and get it to stick. But I mean, the team behind it, they, they're they constantly looking at feedback. They're taking things into consideration mm-hmm. and iterating. So I, I have high hopes that Good. it's going to be in a place now, far better than what it is I know- now. When it was, yeah, I was gonna say when it first came out, there was a couple of people like I just wanted to get in and see what it what it was, and I wanted to get out, and there was no getting out. Um, so it's it's it seemed to me I I haven't turned it on, so I don't know, but it seemed to me they were saying it's something that you turn it on, you, you can't turn it off, and so maybe they fixed it since then. And is I, this? I don't know. Like so, I'm just logging in for the first time right now to Niantic Social, and it's asking me for an ID. Is this something? A different from anything I had before, or I can use the same one. You can set your own display name, or like a lot of us, you can just you know set your IGN again, and then that'll stick. Because okay. I thought I did this at one of... point when they connected. They had the thing yeah. where they connected Ingress and Pokemon Go, and maybe I don't, I don't know. That was a while ago. Well, there's. They they have the uh, what do they call that? Niantic achievements. So when you have the Niantic achievements, you can see in one place. Here's my level on Pokemon. Here's my level on Ingress. Here was or is my level on Wizards. Um, so you, you can see all that in one spot. So it's I think it's just the next step on that that allows you to to communicate. And Vane, I haven't used it, but does it allow you to? "Quote unquote cross platform, so I could talk to a Pokemon player. My name is. I would say taken. eventually. I, I think that is probably you know. Well, no, actually, I am. I'm going to back up on that one. Um, it's it's the same Niantic social for everybody, like across the products. Because mm-hmm. y- if you go in like certain areas, you'll you'll definitely see it. You will see, like you know, Wizards Unite rooms or, or groups. I think groups is probably the official or channels i'm not sure what the actual official name is there i'm not in often enough but yeah that is uh that is cross-platform but currently it was only wizards unite um settlers of Catan and ingress that actually had niantic social Catan already shut down wizards is shutting down at the end of the month so <laughs> it'll be back to just ingress <laughs> for a little while ingress and pogo well, whoever Pokemon, took, yeah, Pogo does not have Niantic Social. Whoever took Goonie Guy uh, Niantic ID, that is not me, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been scammed. So, so I guess I'm right. So it, it. it sounds like we may need to make a room there or a group or whatever we call it. And uh, that way, newer players. And, and I would think if I was a newer player, that. I would probably stumble across that before I would stumble across somebody say, Hey, here's a, a, a discord group or, you know, here's a telegram group, which really I probably spend more time on telegram talking about ingress than running the stupid scanner. Um, but you know, if you, if you're that new agent, you, you don't know that there's a community out there other than what's in chat and chats got its own minds. Um, so that might be their first foray into organizing with their faction and getting into the community. Although you can do that with chat, but it doesn't, I don't know. 
I just back away from chat. <laughs> yeah, once it's not secure. Once we get some more features in there, you know, uh, you can see you can see folks' factions if you go on like their profiles and things of that nature. But we need mm -hmm. we need some more security permissions. We need some general like chat permissions and desktop would be great. Desktop support. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, that would be great. If we have all of those things, I could see, you know, currently, I think what a lot of communities are doing is you stand up a, a relatively public um, Niantic social community. And that is the official term. I, I went in real quick and was like, ah, where's the word? Oh, um, cool. <laughs> so a lot of areas will stand up like a open or somewhat semi-public community to get their new players in and, and talking before mm -hmm. either saying like, hey, we also have this Telegram chat. Um if you want to kind of move on to something that's a little bit more secure where we do a little bit more of the, uh, you know, wink back doors stuff. <laughs> so is it uh, secure enough that you could say, Hey, we have a faction chat here and only, you know, only frogs are going to be here or only uh, Smurfs are going to be in here. I, again, I haven't used it to know. I would say it's it's secure enough to where if you're if you're vetting people as you're adding them, mm -hmm. you could treat different communities that you create as as secure. I, I honestly though wouldn't rate it as secure as what you're going to get with Telegram, yeah. just because the moderator controls aren't that great yet. Um, so with Telegram, you've got more ability to, you know, if somebody's uh, turning into a bad actor or, or needs a little timeout, you can make those decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Unless one of the mods doesn't come in and delete those bad actors fast enough. Anyway. <laughs> uh, do you think that uh, down the road that maybe they'll replace the chat that they have in there with that? Like in-game? Like so the yeah, the in game the in game chat kind of just port that I mean it, it would be no use to have two, you know, communication systems on the scanner if you got one that's works well. Personally, I think COM will always stay in Ingress. I, I think it's you know very unique, not as widely used now mm -hmm. as it was towards the very beginning of the game, because yeah. the factions we very quickly learned that, you know, Faction com is not going to be secure. <laughs> Cross faction com is mostly just going to be trolling. Um, yeah. So in a lot of places, that very quickly, you know, I can remember the old Google Talk days before for Hangouts <laughs> rolled around with some of the Google Talk ingress groups. But yeah, I think yeah. com is always going to have a special place for ingress, just the nature of the game. But uh, I could see other Niantic products just having strictly Niantic social. You imagine how different the game would be if they took out a lot of that kind of communication stuff. So if you just you you didn't get an indication that such and such took out your portal, or you don't even get an indication that that portal was hit unless you go to look at it. Uh, so it would it would change the the game quite a bit. Yeah, just to be gone unless there was. Some other way to get those messages on your timeline, your Niantic social timeline. Your portal you was go. hit. It. <laughs> I can hey, see. Hey, Com. It. Com has had a lot of improvements, yeah, and it was lately. your own team. Com actually works now. <laughs> it's it beautiful. Nice. <laughs> so you can actually get to the last message instead of having to slide, slide, slide. Uh. Well, and kind of um, speaking of things ending, like uh, the Harry Potter, the tessellation ended. It most certainly did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long time Way ago. Back in My badge is a little different from your badge. Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, there was two different badges uh, that were awarded for tessellation. Yes. So I have the... Oh, it's too, oh, I got a bad thing. The Knight of Tessellation. So I've got the two. And you guys probably have the Knight of Tessellation one. Yes, but... Got that Got that Paragon. Got to get that, He's that got Paragon. The Paragon. Which, which I don't have. So you made up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did you make up for it. And Niantic uh, Social yeah. bro broke my ingress, so I can't change tabs now. <laughs> so I just get spinny things. 
It's just uh, spinny. I had something. Just spinny, spinny. I had something I'd, I'd never seen, oh, and I don't know whether it was because I was jumping from a Wi-Fi to uh, cell or something, but the other day I started it, and it asked for permissions again. I was like, You're like oh, was yes, I'm restarting. <laughs> Picking my faction, <laughs> my new handle. Just go all over again. Uh, but yeah, I had I had to go through and give it permissions, and then it, it couldn't figure out where stuff was at. It took it a while, and it came back. So, you know, if you're updating stuff, that uh, that happens every now and then. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back in and see what my badge is, if I have one, for the tessellation. I think you should have If you nice. did something during the tessellation, yeah. you should have one. I think I just did one thing. I mean, I did more, but, but that, like posting and... Yeah, I, yeah, just just the one probably got you. Yeah, at the very least, you, you should have night. I, I believe. Night, I've got night one. There you go. Uh, I'm back in. Is that is that a silver? Yeah. Silver. So. Oh. And we got anything else? Well, did did you see the uh, Happy New Year's from agents around the world thing? No. Okay. Is this video? I'm surprised. Yeah, it's a video. Okay, and it's 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 quite long, so I don't think we want to play it. We'll link but, uh, to it. We got a link to it. Uh, an agent. I don't remember the agent's name, but he was. Uh, I have a think he was in Mexico. Would be my guess. Uh, put out a, a thing on a bunch of uh, Telegram channels and stuff like that, saying, "Hey, tell us how your year was for ingress and stuff like that," and then they put it all together. And uh, I thought I. I'd look at it, and uh, the Brian Rose is in there, and uh, I think Bump Fuzzies was in there, but I don't think I recognized anybody else. But a lot of Spanish and non English speakers in in that video. But it's interesting that Ingress is still alive and kicking. So at least it was in New Year's. Don't you We're not forget done yet. it? We're still going. <laughs> That's right. What, what did I do? There we go. I'm back. So, uh, passcode? Oh, should we still oh. do these? I don't know. You can still do that. Uh, Jamie J. Blaze has probably got the AA already typed in. <laughs> well, and so it's not there. So don't type anything in yet. <laughs> I've got to like log in and go. How did I make one of these actually yeah. work last time? Because there's some Take magic the dust involved. off the website. Yeah. Um, now there's like four different ones, though. Um, what episode were we saying this is? I was doing the re- returns uh, one. It's either 87A or 87B, um, depending upon whether we did an 87. Okay, so is this code up here? Is that someone's wanted this one, or this was the one that I was going to do? If that matters, the one next to where you oh yeah, the one that you're highlighting. Yeah, so I will put that in. I think that's this I, thing. I think that's a good one. Sweet, and we should have put all the links in here to the other one. But anyway, it's just going to be AA returns AA. We should, we've probably used that one before. We should probably do a search. Not saying that we've ever like not done shows for a few weeks or something. And then we're like, hey, we return. That's a good passcode. Um, then JB Jake could probably I, tell us. I don't remember it. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> He's probably trying it right now. Hey, it ain't working. Hey, it ain't working. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't try it right now. I'm sorry. That's. But see, now it's on the side, and we can all add notes live. That's fun, and oh. people can change voices if your... they want. Do I? Did I? Do uh huh? I I got down to the bottom of our document and EP eighty six, EP eighty seven, because you have all the yeah. passcodes. Yeah. So I have them there. Did you put case. in eighty seven? I did when I. Uh, copied this show notes over. Okay, so it's all the way on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. 
I I forgot how we did things, so I just did them how I thought we should do them, and oddly enough, it worked kind of like how we used to do things. I was going to say, you did pretty good. I mean, for for a new piece of software and everything, um, other than having me frozen for a short while, which probably freaked a few people out when they came in early, uh, it ran pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would, I, and I, uh, yeah, I see a few things. We'll fix them though. It's all fun, right? And uh, you know what? Tell us what you want us to talk about. What you want to hear? What what things you want to see? Do learn the highway from my house that I can't get a portal anywhere near. I tried, I tried so so someone next door, and I should just talk about this next time. Come back next time and hear about the uh, story about <laughs> the portal that should have been. We all have those. Hear now mine. Have to I've do. got a portal that now, shouldn't have been. Now we have so to I can't please. guarantee it'll be next week, but I feel like depending on our schedules, um, I think uh, it'll be sooner than later. Uh, we're going to try to do weekly again. Hey, surprise! Uh, <laughs> we haven't really talked about it. But you know, you don't for, just for for him. A, a week is thirty days. Oh no! Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're out of here. Night, everyone. I don't know. Is there something else we're supposed to say? Yeah.